Today on the Stay at Home Chef, I'm showing you how to make creamy potato soup. It's a simple comfort food soup that's easy to make and it starts with bacon. Start by adding one pound of diced bacon to a cold soup pot. Then we'll get this heating over medium heat. Let the bacon cook until it's crispy, giving it an occasional stir. It'll take somewhere between seven and 10 minutes. Bacon adds a lot of flavor to the soup. However, if you don't want to use it, you can always skip the bacon or use ham or go without completely. I'll include those instructions as a note on the recipe on my website. Now, once your bacon is nice and crispy, use a slotted spoon to remove it from the pan and transfer it to a paper towel lined plate. I'm gonna set this aside and remove any excess grease. You wanna leave about one tablespoon in the pot. Now, just as a reminder, bacon grease does not go down the sink. No need to wipe out your pot. We're ready to cook the rest of our soup. I'm gonna add in one white or yellow diced onion in with that bacon grease. And we're gonna let these cook until they're soft and translucent, which will take about five to seven minutes. When the onions are soft, we're gonna add in two tablespoons of butter and four cloves of minced garlic. And we're gonna let this cook until the butter melts. So that really only takes about one minute. And then we'll add in a third a cup of all-purpose flour, which will act as a thickening agent. And you wanna let this cook for about two to three minutes so you don't taste the flour in your soup. Then we'll slowly pour in four cups of chicken broth. It's a good idea to get into the habit of using low sodium chicken broth. That way you can control the salt content of your foods. Some chicken broths are just a little too salty for my preference. In addition to the chicken broth, you'll also want to pour in two cups of milk and I'm using 2%. And then I'm gonna add in three ribs of diced celery and then two pounds of diced Yukon gold potatoes and you'll notice these were peeled. We don't want peels in this soup. Now we're using Yukon gold. You can also use red potatoes. They're very similar. Russets are not my favorite because they have such a high starch content that the soup ends up being a little gritty and grainy and a little too starchy for my preference. Once the soup comes to a simmer, you'll reduce the heat to a medium low and continue letting it simmer until the potatoes are tender, which will take about 15 minutes. Once your potatoes are tender, you have a few options. You can puree the whole thing so that you have a smooth soup. You can puree half of the potatoes. So you can have like a somewhat creamy, somewhat smooth, somewhat chunky soup, or you can leave the potatoes whole. I actually prefer to leave mine whole, but you can always mash some in the pan if you wanna get just a tad bit of creaminess. It doesn't really matter what you decide to do with your potatoes. Then you're gonna add in one cup of sour cream, season with maybe a teaspoon of salt, you wanna do this part to taste, and half a teaspoon of white pepper. And then the special ingredient that takes this over the top either one tablespoon of fresh tarragon or one teaspoon of dried tarragon. It adds the best flavor. Then we'll just stir this in until the sour cream is melted in with our delicious soup. Now, you can add the bacon directly in with the soup, but it does get soggy, so I like to keep mine separate and serve the soup up hot, topped with the cooked and crumbled bacon, as well as maybe a dollop of sour cream and maybe some sliced chives just to add a little bit of color. And then if you're really feeling indulgent, sprinkle on some shredded cheddar cheese. Mwah! As always, thanks for watching. You can find the full written recipe in the video description. Be sure to subscribe, like, and follow, and check out the rest of my videos where you can find hundreds of restaurant quality recipes you can easily make at home. See you later.